Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, cool mechanical keyboard from Kingston. So every product that I reviewed from Kingston so far, everything has been uh, very high build quality. I really am hoping this is uh, going to be one of them. So this is the HyperX Alloy FPS and uh, we're going to see if it's uh, good. And uh, before we start opening the box, it's a Cherry MX Blue. So inside we have the paperwork. And I see here we have a nice pouch for the keyboard. And on the back of the pouch, we have a Velcro opening here, a pocket to put your cables, even the mouse, hopefully. Let's put that away for now. And the keyboard itself. It looks awesome and it feels very durable. And it's a little bit on the heavy side too. So it, the keys and everything look amazing too. One thing uh, that I like about this is there's no cable, so it's uh, more easy to carry on. And uh, we have the stand here as well. So let's just put that away for now. We're gonna get back to that to see the lights and everything else, all the cool stuff. So we have a mini USB to two 2.0 USBs here. And uh, the interchangeable gaming keys here. So when we're taking a look at the keyboard itself here, it has a very nice and clean finish, which I love. And there's uh, no buttons here that are gonna take space. Uh, it just looks amazing. It's uh, very simple and clean. And it has a nice uh, black metal finish here. It's uh, like a piano finish almost. And also we have a charging port in the back here and the input cable for the keyboard. So I've gone ahead and plugged in the keyboard and as you see the red lighting looks amazing. And I have a few lights coming in here so it might not look as bright to you but it's uh, very nicely lit. So let's go ahead and uh, change the effects. But before we proceed there's no software needed whatsoever to start using the lighting. So that's what I love about it. You just plug it in and you're all set. No need to do anything else. So let's just go next here. So we have the flashing here, so let's just go next. This is a pretty cool effect uh, which I love. So it's uh, whatever key you press, it holds up the like lighting. So you pretty much know what you type. Just don't uh, have anyone around because we're gonna know what password you're typing. Okay, let's just go to the next one here. This is another cool one here. So any key you press, so the lighting spreads. And if you can even press multiple keys. So let's just go to the next one here. So this one, the light just goes from one end to the other. And this is a great one as well. For the gaming part, everything is lit here. Whatever you're going to use for the gaming and nothing else. And nothing else gets lit as well, which is very cool. And that's it for the effects. And, uh, it's very nice and simple, so it's uh, whatever you're going to use, you don't have anything extra. One thing is, this is not RGB, so you only have the red colors in here, and that's it. Also, we have the gaming here, here. So, the G up here, you press that, and uh, up here it's lit as well. So, you won't be able to use the start button, just so you don't close the game uh, by mistake, anything like that. Which, uh, very useful when you're playing uh, Battlefield 1 or anything like that, you don't want the window button to be pressed. Let's just go ahead and turn that off. Uh, removing the keys, it's very easily done. Just uh, put in the, the here, the removal, and they're done. Uh, they come up uh, very easily. So let's just, that's it. So let's just uh, change the W here. And to put them on, very simple. And that's it. No need to like press them hard or anything like that. Just a little bit and uh, it's done. If you're looking to buy a new mechanical keyboard, I think the Kingston HyperX here does a great job. Uh, what I like about it, the first thing is uh, the simple finish here. It doesn't have one of those uh, volume buttons here, like keys, anything like that, that will uh, take space and you're never going to use. It just has a very nice and simple finish, which I love. And for the lighting and everything, everything is done very simple and straightforward. No need to install extra software and anything like that. And it has a nice uh, top metal finish here. So that's about as much as I can brag about this keyboard because I just love it. And um, 
there's uh, not much negative I could say about this and uh, the only thing is the RGB lighting which is not in there we only have the red lights and that's it if it had the RGB lighting it would have been even more better really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review please go ahead and click that like button and also don't forget to subscribe for more uh, tech reviews like this see you guys on the next one